the Bible can is profitable for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. Whenever we cite any religious irregularity, and whenever we cite any religious fraud, now in our times, it is not our intention to disgrace anybody. And it is not our intention to fight with anybody. Our intention is to correct, to reprove, and to instruct righteousness. Whoever you are, wherever you may be in the globe, it is our intention and God is our witness that we are doing this a, a little form of sacrifice. Sacrificing our money, uh, paying for programs all over the world, sometimes depriving ourselves of a little luxury because we want to tell you the good news of the Bible or the good news of the kingdom of God. The gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ which can be used as, in, as a tool for reproof, for doctrine, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. 17. That the man of God may be perfect thoroughly furnished unto all good works. That is the good news of the Bible. All good works are in the Bible. All good works necessary to make us better citizens of this world we live in are in the Bible. To make a good father, even better. To make a good mother, even better. To make a good child or children, even better children. And to make a good society, even better better. Why? Because the better and the best belong to God. To attain the better and the best is, uh, status in life, in religion, we cannot get it from schools. We cannot get it from man-made institutions. Actually, the inventions of man made him more evil than good. Let us read. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 29 it says Lo this only have I found said Solomon the wisest human king that ever lived on earth he said this only ha have I found that God hath made man upright but they have sought out many inventions you see there are inventions scientific inventions which science says that came out because of necessity. As they call it, uh, necessity is the mother of all invention. And I agree to that. But there are inventions of human beings in religion that made him more evil than good. There are inventions in religion. Of course, the Bible speaks not scientifically only, but it speaks uh, mainly of religious matters and religious uh, things. When the Bible says that man was made by God upright, but they have sought out many inventions, the evil rooted or sprang up from the inventions in religion that man have made. Actually, it is what the Apostle Paul affirms in his second letter to Timothy, chapter 4, verses 3 and 4. It says, I read, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own loss shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables or inventions. There are people in religion who have turned away their ears from the truth. Of course, what is the truth, by the way? In 1717 of the book of John, it says, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. It is the word of God that presents us the whole truth about everything that we can see and we cannot see. If we want to know the truth about every area of reality, the unseen and the, and the seen, it is in the Word of God. But there are those people who have turned away their ears from the truth and have turned their ears to listening to fables. Fables are not allowed in religion. So, 
If we met religious groups teaching us fables, then it must be reproved. It must be corrected. Or if that religion doesn't want to be corrected, leave them alone. But their members must be taught what is to be corrected. That is my point, brothers and sisters. Of course, you cannot. It is impossible. It all, it's almost impossible, not only with God's intervention, of course, but it's almost impossible to, uh, for religious leaders to accept that they, what they are teaching is wrong. They will not uh, openly say that. They will not openly say that. Maybe religious leaders will accept some of their misdeeds, but they will not accept that what they are teaching is wrong. So as in the case of Pope John Paul II, there was one time he accepted that the Catholic Church have wronged humanity. In a, in, a, in a newspaper, we read the Foreign Post, March 16 to 22, 2000, volume 8, number 370. The title of the caption is, uh, Please Forgive Us, the Vatican. Pope John Paul II embracing the crucifix in St. Peter's Basilica in Penance in a public confession unprecedented in the history of the Roman Catholic Church, begged forgiveness on Sunday for the sins of the Church, the Catholic Church, over the past 2,000 years. The pontiff referred specifically to the Crusades and to the 300,000 people who were burned at the stake in the Inquisition. There was a part of the history of the Roman Catholic Church when they have uh, uh, killed so many people uh, and that took place in the Inquisition. They even call it the Holy Inquisition. A holy way of butchering people and killing people. Not only uh, in tens to, or twenties or hundreds but by the hundreds of thousands. And Although it is not sweet sounding maybe to other people, especially to Catholics, but it is, uh, it is one, one thing that was admitted by the late Pope John Paul II. Now, but the late John Paul II did not admit any wrong in the teachings of the Catholic Church. Luckily, the succeeding Pope, which is Pope Benedict XVI, uh, finally admitted that mm, an age and centuries old doctrine in the Catholic Church about limbo, uh, finally he admitted the fact that limbo does not exist. I believe in that. Why? Because in just the, mm, the click in the computer, you will see that limbo is, is not found anywhere in the Bible. If limbo is a teaching from the Lord Jesus Christ and the Apostle, it should have been written in the Bible. The fact that the, the word limbo is not in the Bible tells us a very glaring truth. That it is just an invention of the Catholic Church. Maybe somebody will say, I'm attacking the Catholic Church. No, that is a wrong perception. I love Catholics. I came from a Catholic family. I love my parents. I love my great-great-grandparents who are devout Catholic in the Philippines. But, but why, am I, why am I saying this? After studying the scriptures and uh, studying religion, I have found that uh, it is good in the sight of God to correct things which are wrong. If people will accept, they will be better. They will be saved. Now, why are we doing this? This is for correction. Because uh, not so many religious groups or not so many religious leaders will accept that what they are te teaching people are erroneous. For example, no official in the, in the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society will accept that what they are teaching is wrong. Nobody of them will, will ad admit that. But, if you are meticulous enough in reading their books and searching and researching about their teachings, you will find that there is a loophole in their teachings. 